Okay, continuing on from where we left in the last video, uh, this one we're going to focus on changing sides. So every time you click once and place a X or an O, it'll change sides to the other team and then you click to place another. Uh, as of yet, everything is still just one player based. It'll be based off the clicks. Uh, so let's jump back to Unity. Okay, and first thing we're going to want to do, let's go back to our game controller. Okay, and we're going to want to add, I don't think we put anything here yet. Get player side. Okay, so we're going to want to add, we'll make it void and let's call it change sides. Okay, and all this is going to do is check what side we're on and then change the side. Uh, so. Again, I'm just kind of following that, that course on the site. And the way they did it is, I'll explain this in a sec if people have not seen this before. Okay, so this is all we need to do. It's called a ternary operator. Um, so basically we're saying player side is going to be equal to this. And what this does is this first section you can basically think as an if statement. So what it's doing is it says if player side equals X, and then the question mark is for if it's true. So if player side is X, set it to O. And then if it's false, what's after the colon is set. So if it's uh, false, which means this is an O, then set it to X. And that's really all we have to do to be able to change which side the player's on. So what we want to do is go to end turn. And at the very end, after it does all the checks and determines if game over happened or not, we'll want to do change sides. And we want it right at the end because it doesn't matter if it won or not. Uh, no, every time you click, you're going to be changing the sides. So that should work there and that should let us do both players. So let's test this out before we do anything else. And it should alternate between X's and O's and either side should be able to win now. X, O, X, O, X, O, X. Okay, so X1, let's try it again. Make sure O's can win. So we'll do X, O, X, O, X, O, and the O's one. Okay, so that is working. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, this, this is still just the singer, single player side. Uh, we'll add the AI and everything later, but at least that's more or less a working game now. You, you can actually win. Um, ties and draws or anything is not done. There's nothing letting you play again. We'll, we'll touch all of that up yet. But uh, first thing, you know what, let's... Uh, Close all of these, we can collapse them. We don't need to see all this now. Okay, and let's make a game over screen next. So on the canvas, we're gonna create another panel. Okay, and we'll call this game over panel. Okay, and we're gonna set all of this to center. Okay, and I guess we'll do about that there. So it's just kind of a, a text box that comes in the middle here. Let's do a color. We'll take, uh, take kind of that preset and we'll make it a bit transparent. I don't know, maybe something like that. Yeah, that, sh that should be good. Okay, and in this, we're gonna make a child of it and we're gonna do, where's text, there, text mesh pro. I'm just gonna kinda scale this to match. Okay, there's that. So what we're gonna do, let's set our anchors in position. This we're gonna set to stretch for all of them. And then that way it should always be the same as this border. 
Okay, and um, yeah, that, that can stay as new text. That doesn't really matter. Let's set this to center and center. Scroll up our font a bunch. Maybe do something like that. Uh, doesn't really look centered. Not too sure why that's the case, but I, I'm not going to mess with it that much for now. We can always do that later. Okay, so we have that. Um, thinking if we maybe change the color, I don't know. I'm going to leave it as white. I think it looks better that way. Okay, that's our game over panel, so we can keep that. So let's go to our game controller. And we're just going to have to make some variables here. So let's do, let's do a public game object. And we'll go with game over panel. Then we're going to do public text mesh pro GUI. will be game over text. Okay, so we got that set. Let's do let's do our game over panel. We're going to set that to false at the start. So we don't want it showing it at the start. And let's go to game over and what we'll do here is yeah our game over is only called when the game's over so what we'll do is we'll set it to active here game over panel dot set active true okay so that's true and you know what just before we do that let's set the text dot text equals two and we're just going to do player side oh we don't want quotes there player side plus wins that should be about it there so that'll just display whichever player currently won like whoever selected um so let's go and try this you know by default we can just hide that Okay, let's try it. Even if we didn't hide it, it, it would do it automatically. Oh, and yeah, we totally forgot. I do this all the time. So we need to add game over panel and then the text. All right, let's try this again. There we go. X wins. Okay, and let's make sure it works for O. Oh, wins. Okay. Uh, we can make that look a little prettier and stuff later, but for now, that is good enough there. Uh, I'll save this video here and we'll continue on. We'll make it so you can actually replay and draws will show up and things like that. And then once all that's done, then we'll start making it so the computer will play against you. Okay. So let's save and we'll go to the next video.